Welcome to Shimmer Blast. Today I'll show you how to make this adorable Moana inspired birthday cake. First, I prepared my pans by lining them with wax paper for easy removal after they finished baking. I used a 7 inch and a 10 inch pan. I frosted the 7 inch cake with just a small section in white where the water would go. I frosted the rest in homemade chocolate buttercream. I used a bottle of blue sparkle gel for the water. It levels itself out pretty well. I used cream filled wafer cookies. I cut them to various lengths to give the cake a wood hut look. Then I added a palm tree on top. I made this from pipe cleaner, glue, and cardstock because I couldn't find any palm trees locally. First twist three brown pipe cleaners together and cut them in half. Glue them to an oval cardboard and add greenery. I used a recycle box with a smooth coating to keep the oil from absorbing into the cardboard. I took one inch strips of green cardstock. I cut out one and a half inch half ovals, eight per palm tree. Then I sliced lines on a diagonal through both sides of the cutout. It gives it a fringe, perfect for palm trees. I used hot glue to adhere all the palm leaves together. This works in a pinch. I added a crumb coat to the 10 inch sponge with a homemade almond vanilla buttercream. Here's a lazy way to get a smooth final coat. Next I rolled white fondant to make a wave accent pattern. I would have preferred a wave stamp but this marshmallow fondant is easy enough to work with. I lightly drew a wave pattern on the surface. Then I cut it out. I used a small tool to round off the sharp edges. I placed the 7 inch cake right on top. I added isomalt waves. I made this using a bag of isomalt crystals, water, and blue dye. I poured it on a silicone pad draped over a rolling pin to give it a rounded wave shape. Now this part is not sped up, it's hot. For the big wave, I shaped it by hand. And yes, there are gloves for this kind of heat, but I'm too lazy for that.
As hot ice malt sits, it will flatten. I kept flipping it over to smooth out the rough spots. It's not perfect, but it gets the idea across. The four-year-olds were so excited. Next, I added light brown sugar to appear like sand. This cute little Moana is perfect. Then I added starfish that I made from fondant. I added brown sugar to the fondant to give the sea stars a little more texture. You can use a roller, but I just used my hand because I'm reshaping the star anyway. I used a cookie cutter to give me the basic shape. Then I used a modeling tool to give it more definition. For the small sea stars, I actually used a Play-Doh toy to give me a basic star proportion. Just use what you have. And there you have it. Like and subscribe for more themed party ideas. Thanks for watching.